Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and today I'd like to make a video discussing how to analyze some more complicated puzzles, specifically with an eye to uh, parity, understanding how parity issues occur, and how to resolve them. So this video is inspired a little bit by a post here by Dr. Who, um, who shows Greg's helicopter 3x3x3. Three by three by three. And in it, it, you can see that there is a parity-like problem. It actually is a, a, a parity issue. Um, but uh, if, you, if you sort of look at it naively, it looks like uh, the edge of a 3x3x3 three by three by three is, fixed, uh, is flipped in isolation, and we know that's not possible. So there must be something else going on here, and I'd like to talk about how this happens and how to analyze it and how to resolve problems like this. Dr. Who did post some musings about uh, uh, what he thinks might be going on here. I, I couldn't really follow his, his discussion, um, so instead I'm just going to try to post how I would go about analyzing this. So I have a physical copy of the puzzle here. And so first I want to show how it moves. So it's a helicopter 3x3x3, so here is the 3x3x3 term that is available to you. And... Here is the helicopter turn that is available to you. And those are the only moves available. Of course, you can you know, do the equivalent slice moves too, right? Where, where you sort of turn the inside portion of the puzzle, um, which I think is most people just think of as just turning to opposite faces. And then of course, the same thing with the 3x3x3 where you turn the inner portion of the puzzle and you have some slice move going. Um, but it, it, I think it works best if we just talk about sort of the outer moves and, and not discuss the slice moves, because the slice moves can be understood as just two outer moves. Um, so first, let's talk a little bit about uh, which moves do what to the orbits of these pieces. So first, uh, here's a 3 by 3 by 3 quarter turn. And when we do this 3 by 3 by 3 quarter turn, what happened here? So we had a four cycle up to corners. That's an odd permutation. We had a four cycle of these inner center squares. That's also an odd permutation. Then we had we had a four cycle of this edge wing to you know here 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 he, uh, excuse me here to here to here to here to here. Okay, but we had two of those actually. So we had this one to the here to here to here to here. So that's two four cycles. And when you have two four cycles, that's an even permutation. So. And then we had we had a very similar thing here with uh, these uh, chiral triangles. Um, we had a four cycle here to here to here to here, right? But we also had this one, and then we also had a, so we have four four cycles there, and that's also an even permutation. So when we do to recap, when we do a three by three by three quarter turn, we get an odd permutation of the corners, an odd permutation of the face centers, an even permutation of the rest of the pieces. And then we can do the same analysis for a helicopter cube edge turn. Okay, so two corner swap places, that's an odd permutation. We had these two pieces and these two pieces swap uh, positions, so that's an even permutation, it's a 2 2 swap. We had an odd permutation of the edge wings. Um, oh, well, okay, actually, let's take a look at it. It's not as simple as that. So we had these two edge wings swap and these two edge wings swap. That's an even permutation. But we also had these two edge wings swap, and so overall it's an odd permutation. Um, and then we had these two swap and these two swap and those two swap and those two, sw two swap. Um, yeah, so that is also an even permutation. So when we do a helicopter cube edge turn, we change the parity of the corners, and we change the parity of the edge wings, and the parity of everything else uh, stays even. So when we look at, uh, give me a second, wrong scroll. So when we look at uh, Doctor Who's position here, uh, we see that there is an odd permutation of the edge wings and everything else is solved. Well, we can't really tell if there's an odd permutation of the centers because there's a bunch of duplicates, but all we can see is just an odd permutation of these edge wings. And we know that the only thing, the only move that we can do that will do an odd permutation of the edge wings is a helicopter cube edge turn. 
However, that breaks a whole bunch of other things. And it also breaks the the parity of the corners. And we know the only thing, well, we all know the only other way to change the parity of the corners is with a quarter turn of the three by three by three. So to solve this parity situation, we know we're gonna have to do a combination of, an, of a single quarter turn and a single fist turn. That will put us in the parity that we need to be to, to, to get the solved puzzle into the position that Dr. Who shows. Now, if, if you look, there's a neat little trick we can do here. So if we could somehow four cycle this group, um, let me show you this here, let me just do it. Okay, so we have this group right here. If we could four cycle that group on this uh, face, then all of these would go into a four cycle. We wouldn't be able to see it because they're all red. And uh, we would end up, well, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to see it. But we could, if we could do an even, or excuse me, an odd number of twists of this edge while we're doing that four cycle, we could swap this inner port, we could flip this inner portion. So let me just show how that works. It's, it's a very, very repetitive, simple thing to understand. So I'm gonna do an edge turn, and then I'm gonna bring the face towards us, and I'm gonna do an, I'm gonna repeat that over and over and over. So edge turn, face towards us. Edge turn, face towards us. Edge turn, face towards us. Edge turn. I have now done a four cycle of these things, which to resolve, I just need to bring it towards us again. And now I have a large block in the center here that's been flipped. And that's because I needed to do an odd number of edge turns. And it doesn't really matter if I did an odd or an even number of uh, quarter turns because we already decided that if we did a four cycle and we, we twisted this inner part, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, so all that you can see now is that we have this block, which now we're already very close to the position that Doctor Who wants us to be in or wants to get out of. And so now let's take do the analysis here. We have an odd permutation of these edge wings. We have an even permutation because it's two swaps. We have an even permutation of these face centers. Um, and we also have an even permutation of these chiral triangles. Um, so all we really need to do is just three cycle, or you know, somehow cycle these. I, I have not actually worked on this puzzle. I haven't worked out how to solve it, um, so I'm not going to do that. However, I, I will try to work out uh, at least a, a sort of a simple three cycle. So let me see if I can figure that out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this because this is a little bit of a mess. So um, do an edge turn, edge turn. Edge turn, edge turn, edge turn. Okay, so now we're back. So now the question is, is how do we do uh, a three cycle or some other cycle like a two, two swap of these? And I think the way that I can imagine how to do it, you just using helicopter cube knowledge is if we do this helicopter cube sequence, it's highly repetitive, but if we do, we do two adjacent edges back and forth, three times for six total moves. Okay, we will have done a 2-2 swap here and here. So a swap here, a swap here, it's a 2-2 swap. Um, if we want to turn this into a three cycle, we we can look, so if we did if we did this move, that would do a three cycle of this piece, but it'll also do two three cycles, a three cycle of the left chiral triangle and a three cycle of the right chiral triangle. We don't want that. So what we could do is we could use this face move here to, to move out that chiral triangle. Then if we did this edge move, we would be doing a three cycle of this face and that chiral triangle, that face center. And then so if we do a second setup move and we do something like that, now we have this uh, face center isolated. I know it doesn't look isolated, but it is isolated. So if I did this move and then I undid everything and then I undid this move, we would end up with a three cycle in, in, in the uh, face centers. I'm not going to finish that because um, it's hard to do on video and I struggle to turn this puzzle. Um, as, you can, as you can see, I can only oftentimes go one direction. I, I, like I can do 
I, can't, I have trouble doing a move, and then if I do that move, I can't, I can't undo it, so I have to like go all the way back around. Um, and because of that, I'm liable to make a mistake, so I, I don't want to show it. But, but as you can, as you can imagine, once we get into the position, the Doctor Who shows, it's just a matter of doing two, three cycles of the center. Uh, face centers. If we do two, three cycles plus the appropriate setups, we can get this puzzle into this position. And it doesn't really require a lot of thought or effort. N nothing fancy, just, uh, just a simple analysis of the parodies, parodies will do it. 